spiritual qualification, one with the Father. In divine personality they are coordinate, in spiritual nature they are equal, in divinity they are identical. The character of God could not possibly be intrinsically improved upon in the person of the Son, for the Divine Father is infinitely perfect. But that character and personality are amplified by divestment of the non-personal and non-spiritual for revelation to creature beings. The first source and center is much more than a personality, but all of the spirit qualities of the Father personality of the first source and center are spiritually present in the absolute personality of the Eternal Son. The primal Son and His sons are engaged in making a universal revelation of the spiritual and personal nature of the Father to all creation. In the central universe, the super-universes, the local universes, or on the inhabited planets, it is a paradise Son who reveals the universal Father to men and angels. The eternal Son and His sons reveal the avenue of creature approach to the universal Father. And even we of high origin understand the Father much more fully as we study the revelation of His character and personality in the Eternal Son and in the sons of the Eternal Son. The Father comes down to you as a personality only through the divine sons of the Eternal Son, and you attain the Father by this same living way. You ascend to the Father by the guidance of this group of divine sons, and this remains true, notwithstanding that your very personality is a direct bestowal of the Universal Father. In all these widespread activities of the far-flung spiritual administration of the Eternal Son, do not forget that the Son is a person, just as truly and actually as the Father is a person. Indeed, to beings of the one-time human order, the Eternal Son will be more easy to approach than the Universal Father. In the progress of the pilgrims of time through the circuits of Havona, you will be competent to attain the Son long before you are prepared to discern the Father. More of the character and merciful nature of the Eternal Son of Mercy you should comprehend as you meditate on the revelation of these divine attributes which was made in loving service by your own Creator Son, one time Son of Man on earth, now the exalted Sovereign of your local universe, the Son of Man and the Son of God. Indicted by a divine counselor assigned to formulate this statement depicting the Eternal Son of Paradise.